here. I know, on either side. Hey, everybody, look at that. We're back here with Senator Elizabeth Warren. Why, why are you mad at uh, Jerome Powell? Well... The, the, head, the, the Fed chair, Jerome Powell. I know you don't like rich guys, but yeah. why don't you like... You rolled your eyes at Elon Musk the last time we were talking. Uh, Elon Musk is still on my list. Um, <laughs> but on Jerome Powell, it's about interest rates. Look, Jerome Powell and the Fed raised interest rates extraordinarily. I mean, just uh, uh, remarkably. And now they're at a very high level. The problem is, yes, we had inflation, but inflation was being caused by a lot of things, like supply chain kinks that COVID had given us. The war in Ukraine had driven up energy prices very sharply and the price of wheat. And giant corporations looked around and said, oh, everybody's talking about inflation right now. Great time to raise our prices. And they didn't just raise those prices to cover costs. They raised those prices triple and quadruple what they needed to raise them. We know that because their profit margins went up. It's called price gouging. So Jerome Powell raised interest rates. Inflation has come back down. Five, uh, six of the last seven months, inflation has been at 2% or lower, which is the Fed's target. And now what's happening with this high inflation rate, we've got the other stuff pretty much starting to get it under control. Biden administration is fighting back. But this high interest rate is driving up the cost of housing. It means that people can't afford a mortgage. First time buyer can't get into this market. People can't move and even for renters, it affects what you pay for rent because when your landlord's paying more for a mortgage, believe you me, the landlord passes it on to the tenant. Plus it means there's less new construction and we need more housing. So I want him to bring those interest rates down. Last week, you, Senator Fetterman, Senator Schumer, and Senator Sanders sent a letter to the DEA asking for marijuana to be descheduled. Yep. How is that different? <laughs> Two-part question. How is that different from legalization, and are you high right now? <laughs> so let's do the first part. Um, <laughs> the answer is legalization is what you could do if you had a functional Congress. Well, that's not the world we live in. So descheduling is something the administration could do without going to Congress. Right now, marijuana is scheduled, it's called, as a drug by the DEA, at the same risk as heroin. And that means not only is it illegal, you can't even do research on it. It's, it's so no. And what we're saying in this letter is, guys, get with it at the DEA. Uh, it's not 1954. Um, more than half of all states have legalized marijuana. They've said either Massachusetts, it's legal both for medicinal purposes and for recreational purposes. It's actually mandatory. <laughs> the toll booths on 95, they just hand them out. You know, you still have personal choice. Okay, I understand. All right, all just right. Just keep it. But, but the idea is to say at the federal level, instead of creating this conflict, which is causing all kinds of problems, it's got problems in banking laws and problems in tax laws, you just say, deschedule, and look, we need some restrictions, of course, let's treat it like alcohol. We need to, but deschedule it, join the 21st century, and let's make marijuana legal. Yeah. Shouldn't be that hard. I want to point out, you didn't answer my second question. <laughs> Senator, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Senator Elizabeth Warren, everybody. We'll be right back with comedian Usama Siddiqui.